Hello, this is of Dead Code Factory, and uh, today I would like to show you about uh, Audio Kit uh, how we can use Audio Kit into our iOS app. Before getting into the project, uh, I just want to let you know about uh, here I'm using Xcode uh, 11 version with Swift language file. Uh, suppose if you're using Xcode uh, version which is of le uh, 11 or less, uh, you need to take care of few stuffs because there are some problems or issues which you can go ahead uh, while you install the CocoaPods with Audio Kit. I have given I will give some reference that uh, there are few problems trouble I can see trouble compiled with Xcode 10.2 with Swift 4.2 version the common error which you can find is like this uh, when you install the CocoaPods they may be showing an issue that uh, your module compiled with Swift 4.2 cannot be imported by Swift 5 compiler yes I also come across with such uh, issue you can solve by uh, one or two methods either you need to change the cocoa pots of uh, with uh, audio kit from 4, 4 to 4.9 i will show it on when i will doing okay and i will give some description about the errors you can go ahead if you are using xcode version of 11 or less so in this project i am completely using xcode 11 with 5 so let's start the project okay I'm going to create a new project. I'm using Xcode 11 version with a single view application, and I'm going to name it as Audio Kit. Demo as a name, and I'm using here Storyboard instead of Shift UI, and I'm going to save it in my desktop for the project. okay that's all the stuff when you go straight away you can see that they are a general category so inside the status bar style I'm going to check supports multiple windows because it's having uh, scene delegate as well so I'm going to use here with the storyboard that's why I checked in supports uh, multiple windows box here so I will go first to main door storyboard the reason why I'm going to main door storyboard is after completing the audio kit initial stage, the screen will be uh, white, which is of uh, not uh, good. Will be a very lazy or boring screen. That's why I just create a button and a uh, navbar. That's it. So here's my V controller, and I'm going to embed here with a navigation controller and uh, i'm going to name give some title name let's say like uh, audio kit demo all right and uh, here inspector i'm going to call a button as well so this button when it clicks uh, i need to call the audio kit uh, file or start a music play that's why so I'm creating a button over here and uh, let's say play engine let's uh, custom the size as well Twenty-four, and uh, I will change the background as well to something different color and text will be off in white color alright let's do some constraint as well I will make the height of 50 and uh, put some constraints add four constraints 
all right let's go to our view controller and uh, we will create an IB outlet for uh, this view controller in shift if you suppose if you are using the Xcode 11 for the first time uh, there is if, if you want to call the source code we need to click here and go for assistant editor so that it will come over here okay there's few new stuffs uh, inside our Xcode 11 so I'm going to create an IB outlet suppose say play engine button let all right that's it we will make our screen much more clear and then um, I'm going to make a new folder over here I need to call uh, one you know two stuffs so I'm making a new group and uh, name it as resources and I'm going to drag it over here uh, I need to bring some music file or uh, stuff in order to play after the audio engine so I have created here and stuff I will drag it over here you don't need to worry uh, you will have the source code uh, I have given the description for source code inside that source code you can find this uh, MOV file this is a source code I will give this uh, link in my description you can go through and check here there is a resource and you can find this uh, MOV file inside that one all right here this is the MOV file you can just drag and drop it and this is my audio engine file which I am going to bring it over here as well so next is <coughs> I need to give some port installation so let's do that now I am going to bring my terminal first of all and CD space uh, I will create CD and I uh, need to give my path as well so I will close for a while my project and uh, let's go to my terminal and uh, I'm going to track my path into it Yes, it is, and uh, let's check with ls or pwt. Okay, that's fine. And uh, in the source code of all your kit, actually, in I mean, their main GitHub, they have given uh, regarding the port installation and all those stuffs. So, here they have given port audio kit uh, 4.0. So, I'm going to click that one and uh, and uh, I will put a port in it in my file then uh, I'll open my source and there is a port file created I'm going to put here as uh, port 4.0 so make sure that if you're using Xcode 11 uh, just go and do as it is same like port audio cat 4.0 if you're using Xcode 2 or 3, try it with X, uh, port audio port cat with 4.9. That's what uh, here the says in one of the issues. I will show you that uh, in the issue section. Audio player with the uh, One of the suggestions uh, I will show it later on. Okay, so just use uh, 4.9 if you're using Xcode 11 or else, uh, sorry, Xcode 10.2 uh, or 9, whatever it is. If it's 11, just keep it as C. So, so save this file and going to install the ports. All right, that's done. So I'm going to open my project again. 
so I can see her port with 4.0 and uh, inside my resource I'm going to create a new file which is of a shift line shift file and uh, I'm going to name it as uh, audio engine let's create it so I have the here the file inside my uh, description you can find the source code I mean the full source code which is uh, over here this is audio kit and uh, when you click the description it will come like this inside this you can have to go to the resource either download it or go to this resource and inside this I have created the class for audio engine and uh, I'm gonna copy until here just uh, ignore this extension AK operation effect because it is for the next part in the next part I'm going to show how we can use the panning effect into our audio cat so let's back back to this and I'm gonna paste it over here this is my audio engine kit and uh, I have here mix loop this uh, M dot MAV file as this and uh, we need to error handle this uh, audio engine as well so I'm making the let constant speed index of 0 depth index of 1 this is our of uh, war player declare the notes so which I'm going to use here in my uh, audio cat player and this, these are some notes uh, which they have given in the audio kit uh, site actually they have given how to use this audio engine these are frameworks and uh, how we can call this with the uh, error handling method and the last uh, uh, we can call this in engine as well that's what they give and they please actually they are given in a playground support so in this project we are making in production way and uh, I will go to my view controller.zip file and inside this I'm going to import audio kit and uh, inside my IB action let call some function like let uh, engine equal to I'm going to create audio engine that's the engine which I'm going to create and call and then I, I will be calling engine dot player dot play so what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, create your engine and play that's what I'm going doing here right all right so we will run and check of what we have done so far so let's run the project Okay, the simulator is running in the back actually. It will take some time to initialize and start running. You can hear the play music. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's what uh, we have done. This is the initial stage of audio kit into our Xcode 11 with SIF 5 version. And um, 
maybe probably who are using Xcode uh, 10 or 9 or whatever version less than 11 they might have problem or they will have an error over here as I mentioned in first of this tutorial that uh, module compiler not uh, done properly something like that trouble compile with Xcode like that some error will come if in case uh, if you are using some other version of Xcode and uh, there are some steps which you can come up with uh, there are solutions few which I have seen here like uh, you need to initialize with uh, some other stuffs or we need to change the version like this so far in our Xcode so it will come up with a solved issue like so so that's all in this video this is a part one version which is of simple basic way of uh, audio kit uh, how we can use audio kit into our native OS app uh, with Xcode 11 and then uh, in the, my next part uh, I'm going to show you how we can go with the playgrounds uh, there are a lot of things like FX panning these all stuffs uh, coming uh, in the list later version so now suppose uh, filter there are a lot of filter types and these things coming and uh, examples you can see here like a uh, sampler filter effects like this uh, we have several uh, filter effects and uh, panning things that will be in coming in the next part so uh, in the next video I will show about uh, these all next uh, panning how we can do the further steps uh, into production in case of uh, audio kit when we use the audio kit into our native iOS app actually all right thanks for watching this video if you anyone like this video just uh, click like and subscribe this video if in case you have issues I have given the description about uh, how we can come up with those issues and for the source code on all the stuffs I have given everything detailed in my description just go through it once again thank you very much thanks